वेलकम टू द सेशन वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द सी बी एस ई नेट पेपर फॉर जोग्राफी पेपर थ्री सो जोग्राफी पेपर थ्री हैड सेवेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन विल बी सॉल्विंग ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन इन ईच सेट सो दिस इज फॉर डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हियर वर बेस्ड ऑन थियोरिटिकल नॉलेज एक्सेप्ट द सेक्शन ऑन कार्टोग्राफी रिमोट सेंसिंग एंड जे एस विच वर बेस्ड ऑन कंसेप्शन नॉलेज सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑथर्स इज एसोसिएटेड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जियो सिंक्लाइन when we will cover geosyncline we will discuss the concept in detail for now the answer is hall and dana and he gave the concept in 1857 the next question you have some of the books and you have to match who was the author of which book so the correct answer here is so but badza wrote the book geomorphology from earth davis talked about the geomorphic cycles so the answer would be geomorphic cycles then embleton talked about the process in geomorphology and finally thorns talked about geomorphology and time so these are the correct matches so the answer here would be 4 next question which of the following plateau can be considered as an intermontane plateau intermontane plateau means with a plateau which is enclosed by mountains on all sides so that would be a kind of intermontane plateau common examples are tibetan plateau and bolivian plateau in south america so the answer here would be 3 next question you have assertion and reason assertion and reason uh, under the reason the statement is eskers are outcome of fluvial uh, fluvial glacial depositions that's correct so it's an example of fluvial glacial deposition but this is formed due to melting of water so the action of wind is incorrect so the assertion is incorrect and reason is correct so we say a is false and r is true so four would be the correct option here next question the negative movements of the base level produce rejuvenation so rejuvenation leads to rising of land and fall in the sea level so that is how we understand the concept of rejuvenation that's rising of land and fall in sea level next question we have covered this under the types of rocks so sedimentary rocks the characteristics are they occur uh, when the rock is being transported once transported it occurs in layers so layers transportation has fossils is again correct because igneous and metamorphic do not have fossils and they are formed usually near water bodies or at the coastal areas so all of these are correct four would be the correct option here next question uh, we have to match the place of deposition with the name of the deposition now when we are attempting this question it's important to understand some of the terms first so colluvium it's the unconcentrated slope wash and lag deposits are secretions of uh, large uh, large particles i could say vertical accretion and lateral so lateral and vertical by the name it's clear now the correct matches here would be uh, you have channel which is a lag deposit then you have channel margins which are lateral deposits flood plains which are vertical deposits because the overbank of the flood plain would be vertical deposit and finally valley margins will have the colluvium so this would be the correct match so a with 2 so a with 2 is in 1 and 3 and b with 4 uh, so the answer here would be 3 next question Which of the following features is formed when the roof of the limestone cave caravan means cave so when the roof of the limestone cave collapses it forms dolines or sinkholes we have covered this when we have talked about the underground topography or the karst topography so you can refer that lecture for details next which one of the following layers is devoid of atmosphere we are still to cover the section on climatology most of the questions on climatology were good this time so when we talk about the layers of atmosphere we have strat uh, troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and ionosphere so what happens at the mesosphere is 
most of the shooting stars get burnt up in this region and when you uh, reach thermosphere there is no oxygen and uh, no air i could say so thermosphere would be the correct answer here and a mesosphere you will have air but that would be in the rarefied form or very light form the next question which of the following assertion reason so carbon dioxide absorbs heat that is correct because it's one of the greenhouse gases similar to methane i could say uh, water vapor so these are all kinds of ghgs or we call it greenhouse gases and the presence of co2 in the earth is essential we cannot say that just oxygen is essential and carbon dioxide is not essential if there was no carbon dioxide or i could say no greenhouse gas what would happen the earth would have become a frozen ball or, or i could say a ball of ice so we require uh, carbon dioxide to maintain heat or uh, the effect of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere so both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation so the correct answer would be one next question you have to match the uh, presence of uh, the elemental uh, the element and the range of altitude so we say nitrogen occurs in around 100 to 200 kilometers the initial 100 to 200 kilometers then you have the oxygen from 200 to this then you have the helium for 1000 to 3500 and above that you have hydrogen so that's the correct match we can see uh, that's 1 3 uh, then you have 1 so 3 1 this one would be the correct option next question tropical cyclones have a life span of about a week's time they can produce low amount of rainfall due to low atmospheric pressure that is incorrect because tropical cyclones produce huge amount of rainfall not low amount of rainfall and that is due to the low pressure area that has been created so assertion is correct and reason is incorrect so 3 would be the answer here next question which of the following is essential for the formation of equatorial westerlies so when we have the equatorial westerlies that are blowing uh, it's clear that there is no impact of earthquake or forest fire so we can remove these choices straight away the nearest match here would be the trade winds moving polewards i could say they are moving trying to move away from the equator or i in other words you can also say they are moving towards poles but polar easterlies play no role so polar easterlies originate here so they do not play any role so three would be the incorrect choice again so answer would be two next question a type of climate after copen which was characterized by uniform distribution of precipitation throughout the year now uniform distribution of precipitation throughout the year is an example of rain forest so under rain forest what we have is uh, rainfall throughout the year and even the driest month would have more than 6 cm or 60 mm of rainfall so what we say here is a would be the climate which would be the tropical climate and f would govern the rain forest or the rainfall with a uh, with even the driest month having more than 6 cm or 60 mm of rainfall with very low daily range of temperature so the answer would be tropical rain forest and tropical rain forest was marked by copen as af so the answer here would be af next question which of the following is a is a local cold wind now you have the various winds here you have chinook bora foen and khamsin so khamsin is a hot wind that goes in egypt then you have the foen that usually blows on the leeward side you have chinook and bora so chinook is found in north america you have bora in northeast europe so these are the various kinds of local winds that blow into the region the next question is at which of the following altitudinal range do you found uh, do you find ozone so ozone is concentrated in the layers of stratosphere so the correct answer would be 10 to 25 kilometers next question now this question um, we cannot exactly predict the life cycle of a frontal depression you had the great uh, storm of england which lasted for around 7 to 8 days then you had another storm which that occurred in central america in 1987 
and that had a duration of around 9 to 10 days so it's very hard to say how long a frontal depression or a extra tropical cyclone remains usually we say it's 2 to 5 days now since the choices are so close by we will take the highest end of the uh, choices as the answer so that would be the closest answer next maximum density of sea water now maximum density of fresh water is at 4 degrees celsius but the question asks about sea water so it's very important to see here now let's move on to this diagram I have the salinity that is increasing and the temperature here. So at 4 degrees temperature you have nil salinity and that is the maximum density. What happens in ocean water you have a salinity of around 10 to 12 and at this point you have the temperature at 2 degrees Celsius. And at a maximum salinity you have a temperature that falls below 0 degrees Celsius. So with this graph we can understand. The answer here would be 2 degrees Celsius. Next question, you have to arrange them in the ascending order. Ascending means increasing order. So it's smaller to big. So Pacific Ocean is the biggest. So that would be towards the last. So we ignore the remaining two choices. Now next to Pacific, you have the ocean that lies between Americas and the Europe and Africa. So this is the Atlantic Ocean. That's again a very big ocean. So you have... Atlantic then you have that's again same for both the choices then you have the Indian Ocean and finally a very small that's Arctic Ocean so the correct choice would be 2 next question you have to match the currents with the oceans so you have monsoon drift that is a common phenomena of India so you have the Indian Ocean with monsoon drift you have Gulf Stream that originates in North Atlantic you have Kuroshivo currents that originate in North Pacific and finally El Nino that's a characteristics of South Pacific. So that's a, those are the correct choices. So A3 and B2. So 3 and 2. So 2 would be the correct answer here. Next, you have to match ocean depths with the thermal layer. <clears throat> now this is a kind of uh, question that is asked to confuse most of the students. So here if we go around you have the topmost layer I could say 0 to 500 that would be having 24 to 26 degrees depending upon the seasonal variation so you say this is a warm layer then you have 5000, 500 to 1000 is thermocline 5, uh, 5, uh, 1000 to I can say 2500 or so you have cool layer and finally here the temperature falls very rapidly and I can say this is the cold layer. So with this we can demarcate the various layers of the ocean bottom. Next, ocean waves obtain their energy from blowing wind. So if the blowing wind is more strong, the waves are more stable. So you have the correct answer as 4 that is blowing wind. Next question. Over the past century, the world sea level has rose by, uh, risen by 4 to 8 inches or I could say uh, 10 to 20 centimeters. We can say on an average 17 centimeters and here the nearest choice is 15. So the answer would be 1. Next, correct sequence of vegetation belts. Now, <clears throat> below the mountain range, you have the sub-mountain region. Then you have the mountain region. Then you have between the mountain and the alpine, you have the subalpine and finally the alpine that's the tree uh, beyond the tree line and subalpine is still the tree line. Tree line is the line where after which you don't find any trees and you have kind of shrubs and little growth. So alpine exists beyond the tree line. So one would be the correct answer here. And finally the last question for this. Who was the first person who divided the circle into 360 degrees? The correct answer is Ptolemy. Ptolemy divided the circle into 360 degrees. So uh, with this and he wrote a book which was known as Almagest Later and we will discuss those in the next questions that we cover. So we can cover, we will be covering the remaining questions in the next set. Have a good day.